Hello, good morning everyone. I am Aditya Bhandari along with my friend Srijan and we are from SGWX school and we have got delightful opportunity to present you with our project Zero Hunger. So I will first tell you what Zero Hunger is. It is one of the 17 de sustainable development goals that aim to achieve Zero Hunger. It tells us about how we can end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and how we can promote sustainable agriculture. Now, why does zero hunger matters? The goal here is to end hunger worldwide. Extreme hunger and malnutrition remain, a, remain as a barrier to sustainable development and create a trap from which people cannot easily escape. Thus means there are now more productive individuals who are prone to diseases and thus aren't able to earn more and improve their livelihoods. Around 2 billion people in this world do not have regular access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food. Now the most asked questions arise. Why should I care? We all want our families to have enough food to eat that is safe and nutritious. A world with zero hunger can positively impact our economies, health, education qualities, equality and social development. How can we achieve zero hunger? Food security requires a multi-dimensional approach from social protection to safeguard safe and nutritious food especially for children to transforming food systems. There will be a need for investments in rural and urban areas. There are a few targets set by UNICEF to be achieved by 2030 to end hunger. Targets A, B and C informs us how we can help the zero hunger campaign. From here. Srijan will take over and tell you more about Zero Hunger and our business plan for minimizing hunger and achieving the goal. Okay, so let's talk about some facts and figures about Zero Hunger. Current estimates are that nearly 690 million people are hungry, or we can say 8.9% of the world population. An estimated 2 billion people in the world did not have regular access to safe, nutritious, food in 2019. Despite the reassessment of the extent of hunger in China, the majority of the world's undernourished 381 million are still found in Asia. More than 250 million live in Africa. Many countries have made it possible to estimate hunger in the world with greater accuracy this year. In particular, Newly accessible data enabled the revision of the entire series of annual undernourishment estimates for China back to 2000, resulting in a substantial downward shift of the series of the number of undernourished in the world. Okay, so let's talk about the business plan. First, identification of needy through direct registering the region and occupation. This would help to manage the resources and contribute at the earliest. Step 2. Recognizing the class status and exact food requirements with their time and place of requirement is necessary to develop an efficient service network. Step 3. We need to counter questions like what we prioritize, hunger or party, or donor or dare. These give us the answers to whether we encourage real need or not. Step 4. To make awareness about healthy agriculture practices would be done even at home or field sites by connecting farmers for fresh and good practice in the field and to encourage the network population to support and engage in the network for self-growing and connect those in the field of good sustainable agriculture. Step 5. Promote the business idea with the help of making of small animations, applications and web pages to advertise the plan, covering zero hunger and food security by low price products with good health and wealth management at the same platform. The nutrition value of individual and his daily food habits, daily intake and remain of caloric values will also be calculated on daily basis with record of exercises or yogas for them too. 
to achieve right the output. Last step, collaboration with people with new innovative ideas to create networks and give them platforms to come forward and associate the purpose with the requirements. So that's the end of our business plan. You can find our website link attached with the video in G Drive. Just open your browser, paste the link and there you go. That's our website. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to present this. I hope you have a good day.